On Sunday, I usually do my homework and tidy up my room. But my lifestyle in Turkey is completely different. For example, what we do every Sunday. My grandfather is originally from a farm village, but he had to work in a bigger city and retired there. But he always wanted to go back to his farming life and we bought a small bit of land down in the valley of Cappadocia, where the real Christianity used to live for centuries in the underground cities. However, in this valley, the river dried up and it's like a trickle now. When you go up the valley, you can see it, see it actually dry, sandy and dusty. When you go down the valley, you can see the effects of water with the green colour. Global warming also affected all Cappadocia, where the best potatoes and grapes grow in Turkey. My grandfather has to get up before the sun rises to water the vegetables in the garden. There is a big queue to the water. Everyone has half an hour to water their gardens. He stays in the garden and waits for us to arrive. When we go, we try to wear our old clothes and take boxes to put vegetables in. We collect the vegetables which are ripe and ready to eat. We all try to help in collecting. As soon as we finish collecting, we have a big dinner party in the special barbecue place. When we finish eating and collecting the vegetables, we go up in the tree house that my grandfather made for us. The tree house is on the biggest walnut tree in our garden. Here in Aberystwyth, I always try to buy organic vegetables, which are from organic shops, because these vegetables remind me of my garden's vegetables with their fresh smell and their look. I come from the southeast part of China. I live here nearly two years. I found something different between Britain and China. First, Britain most shops are closed at 5 o'clock at night. But in China, night streets are busy at night. A number of parents take their children outside and play with them, because their parents work in the day. Second, in Britain, most schools start at quarter past nine in the morning finished at 20 past 3. But in my countries, oral school start at 10 past 7 in the morning until half past 8 in the evening. We need to study every day. We have only one weekend off to every two weeks. Third, in the Britain, we co-drive on the left, while in China, we drive on the right. Fourth, in Welsh or even in the UK, Many people lived in the old house, and most of them have history. Even if you stand outside the house, you can't realize how beautiful and modern it is inside. But in China, a lot of people spend a lot of money decorating the outside of the house. They are always rebuilding house, which maybe just have been built about 20 or 30 years ago. Everyone wants to build a house bigger and higher than the neighbor's house. I like it here and I have got to use to this kind of knife. They both had advantages. Living in different places is interesting. You can feel the different culture in different countries. I grew up in the city of Wrocław, known as Breslau before the war, as it was part of Germany. Wrocław is a place that will be special for me no matter how it changes. It's known for having the river Odra flowing through it, and that's why it has over 100 bridges and many river islands. What I love most in Wrocław is perhaps the Cathedral Island. This special aura manifests itself most there. It's the oldest part of Wrocław. Its pride is a market square and a brick Gothic town hall at the heart of it. The core of German-style buildings dominate most of the inner city from apartment houses to Gothic and Baroque churches. Whenever I'm in the European city, I immediately feel at home. It was badly damaged during the war, so everything in Wrocław is renovated or new. It is not too industrialized or populated. It has a lot of greenery in the inner city, as well as large rural outskirts, which is where I lived. I preferred it from living in the inner city. In the summer, when it's unbearably hot, 
One of my favorite places is the Swarov Island, where you can relax in the shade by the water. I also like the University District, one of the most beautiful places in Wrocław, and my granddad works there, so he showed me around when I was little. There is always something going on in Wrocław, something to do. It's one of the things I miss because Aberystwyth is a small town, but I like it still, as people are friendly, and I remember I was fascinated with the idea of living by the seaside. I think the biggest similarity to Aberystwyth is that Wrocław still has a close community. You do not feel isolated. Yes, I thought of going back for good, but at some point I realized it wasn't the city I missed, it was my childhood. I've lived here about two years now. Originally, I come from Wuhan in China. The biggest difference between here and there is population. This difference makes a lot more differences. For example, the people here are more friendly. Because there are only 20,000 people, everyone in the town could be friends. They will say hello to you even if you are a stranger to them. But in my city, the population is about 10 million. It's hard to say hello to everyone, isn't it? You can't even say hello to someone you saw before sometimes. Because unlike here, people in China are very busy every day, walking and studying. This involves another point. Too many people but fewer jobs for them. People need to do a lot of work to make a low amount of money to live. Maybe you can't imagine that, but it's true. Unlike here, there are lots of people who can't even find a low-paid job. They can't even leave. How can they spend a minute to say hello to you? But now, I'm here. Here is less population. Here is less work I need to do to live. Here I have more time to do more things. So, I will try to change myself, to spend a minute to say hello.